Not even a month has passed since the delivery, and one of Ukraine's newly acquired F-16 fighter jets has crashed during a major Russian assault, marking the first reported loss of the US-made aircraft. The crash resulted in the death of the pilot, Oleksiy Mess, known by his call sign, Moonfish, a highly skilled pilot who had undergone rigorous NATO training. The investigation is underway to determine whether the jet was downed by Russian arsenal or a self-inflicted attack by a Patriot missile battery as being reported by several media outlets. The Ukrainian Air Force reported that Mez's F-16 had successfully intercepted four Russian cruise missiles before the crash. The jet lost contact while approaching another target during one of Russia's largest air offensives on August 26th. The pilot was repelling a combined missile aviation strike, destroying three winged missiles and one BPLA strike. Despite initial assessments suggesting pilot error or mechanical failure, the exact cause remains under investigation. Both the Ukrainian general staff and Ukraine's air force have refrained from revealing the actual cause of the crash. However, Mariana Bezugla, deputy chairman of the Rada Defense Committee, claimed that internal miscommunication led to the jet being downed by a Patriot missile due to coordination issues. According to my information, the F-16 of the Ukrainian pilot Alexei Moonfish Miz was shot down by a Patriot air defense system due to a lack of coordination between units. The reports noted that he lost control. This incident occurred amid one of the most severe Russian aerial assaults on Ukraine involving over 200 missiles and drones targeting critical infrastructure. The attack resulted in seven deaths and at least 47 injuries, underscoring the intensity of the conflict. Ukraine's defense ministry has formed a special commission to investigate the incident. The crash is a significant blow to Ukraine's air defense efforts especially as the country was counting on the F-16S to strengthen its defense capabilities. Despite this setback, the Ukrainian Air Force honored Mez with a full military funeral, reflecting on his heroism and sacrifice. Mez had undergone extensive training at Skridstrup Air Base in Denmark, part of NATO's support for Ukraine. The F-16, praised for its agility and advanced capabilities, was intended to bolster Ukraine's air defense against Russia's more advanced aircraft. Yeah, so uh, it is really a super fun jet to fly. I'm not saying that uh, MiG that I flew before is, is super boring, but the F-16 is uh, definitely more agile. We study a lot, we fly a lot, we prep for the missions uh, and uh, so on. Uh, Royal Danish Air Force has taken uh, a huge responsibility on their shoulders for carrying out this mission. And um, I can only imagine how hard it is to, for them to train us for day-to-day -day operation, but they are being nothing but supportive. Despite the arrival of F-16S, challenges remain. Ukraine's fleet is limited, with only around six jets currently in service. Military analysts suggest that while these jets represent a significant upgrade for Ukraine's air force, their limited numbers may not be sufficient to shift the balance in the ongoing conflict. Despite the loss, Ukraine remains committed to enhancing its aerial capabilities. President Volodymyr Zelensky had expressed hope that the F-16S would provide a critical edge against Russian forces. I can't for today give you to give you details uh, with uh, with the missions. I think you will see maybe not all of them, but you will see the result. We will decide to command if it was the result with F-16 or not. It's it's not. I mean this. It's not the 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 moment for this. I think it's very dangerous for today. We need to do 
all the security measures which have been discussed with our partners about using F-16. But anyway, these jets are in our sky. The incident highlights the ongoing challenges Ukraine faces in defending against the superior Russian air forces and air defense system. Ever since the NATO allies agreed on empowering Ukraine's air force with F-16 jets, President Putin has vowed to target and destroy these advanced jets, posing a constant threat to Ukraine's limited fleet. NATO countries are planning to supply their fighters to Ukraine. It is being discussed in the media that S-16 aircraft will be used in the zone of a special military operation against Russian troops and facilities, including from the territory of NATO countries. Will we be allowed to hit these targets at NATO airfields? Firstly, if they deliver the F-16, they talk about it, like they are training pilots. I think you understand this better than anyone else. Better than anyone else. This will not change the situation on the battlefield. And we will destroy their planes just as we destroy their tanks, armored vehicles and other equipment today, including multiple launch rocket systems. Of course, if they are used from airfields of third countries, they become a legitimate target for us no matter where they are. And the F-16S are also carriers of nuclear weapons, and we will also have to take this into account when organizing combat work. While the exact cause of the crash remains unclear, the incident may raise concerns among NATO and EU allies about providing advanced equipment to Ukrainian forces who are still undergoing operational training. The event could prompt further hesitation to deploy such costly and sophisticated machinery into active combat situations, particularly with troops still adapting to these systems.